the big news today or yesterday by the time this drops is that Keon Kalamatangi has said no deal to the rest of the NRL and is set to re-sign a massive long-term deal with the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I'm going to let you go first on this because I've got plenty to say. I think I think it's a smart move from Keon because despite what players say, they read newspapers, they read Twitter, they read their social media, and he would have seen that the absolute dreck of the league in the Tigers, the Dogs, and the Dragons were going to offer him a million dollars, and he went, you know what? Probably just going to stay with Souths. Makes a little bit of sense, right? Uh, on the flip side, you know, you're, you're always going to find these teams who can find more money later on in the season. You know, you wouldn't take much for, let's just say the Sharks, to do a little bit of creative accounting with some players off contract and turn and go, you know what, we actually can give you the same as what you're going to get at Souths. But it's the same as what he's going to get at Souths. He's tried and tested there. He's become one of the best players or best edge back rowers in the competition. He's an absolute beast. He's well liked um, outside of South Sydney, and he looks like one of those players that you know you can just tell. Like, if a player scores a try that isn't very well liked, he'll just get a couple of pats on the head and then you run back. But you can see when Colin Matangi does something good that the South players they run in, they love him. He scores a try, everyone jumps all over. It's sort of like like a Brian Toto, Stephen Crichton kind of situation. Like you can just tell those guys are loved by their teammates, whereas, you know, Jerome Luai, not so much. So, yeah, I, th- I think it's I think it's a really, really smart move career, career-wise. career And as I said, it was just just the dross of the league getting linked to him, take a $200,000 pay cut for the chance to play finals footy. Look, exactly right. There's a lot of bonuses in rep footy these days too, and I think your best best route to back to, to rep footy is to play in a good side. I think he's in one of the best in South Sydney. Look, they had, a, they had a down season. Everyone knows it. I still don't know how they made. They didn't make finals. They should have been there come the end of the series, uh, you know, the, the year. But I think South Sydney made a, a tremendous decision in getting this done before he could go to market because despite what we've heard, he can't officially talk to teams. They can't say, hey, we got this, we got this. You could say to me, yeah, look, the Bulldogs, they're not very good. And they're not. But they could have said, hey, we got 1.2. And the difference between 1.2 and 700 is starting – you know, to add up over two or three years. So to not turn his head, not give him the chance to have his head turned, I think it's brilliant. Now, there, there is talk that Jai Arrow may be the casualty here because, you know, salary cap's not infinite and Colin tongue has got a big rise by all accounts. We, we haven't seen the contracts, obviously, but I think it's fair to assume he's going to be paid and paid very well. I think it's a risk they need to take. And if, if you tell me you could have Colin Matangi and Arrow, I'm taking Colin Matangi 11 times out of 10. I think South mm-hmm. Sydney made a genius decision, and if they got him for a cent under 800k, that is just pure value. I love it from the bunnies. I, I now, now going on to this, I hadn't heard anything about Jai Arrow being the casualty here, but I actually think that would also be a great move by South Sydney as well because there will be teams that will take Jai Arrow at full freight, mm-hmm. and so South Sydney won't have to pay anything. So you could turn around and say, like, for 2025, they may have. Colin Matangi on 800000 and Jai Arrow would have been on 750000 But if you can remove that $750,000 all off the books, you're probably only looking at a $200,000 rise from Colin Matangi going from six to eight, just, you know, spitballing, right? So mm-hmm. that's a that's a really, really smart move there. And also, Colin Matangi is on the up. Jai Arrow is, what, better part 30 now? 31? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? Yeah. It's, so it's, 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 you know, if you've got to pick between Colin Matangi now and Jai Arrow now, then you're picking Colin Matangi. 100%. 100%. So, Sydney played their cards really well. As you said, you're 21 days, three weeks from him being able to go to the market and hearing a ridiculous offer from the Bulldogs, the Tigers, the Dragons, the Dolphins. You know, everyone would have been able to throw some kind of silly paycheck out in him for the fact that South Sydney have turned around and removed that. I think, yeah, very, very smart move. Yeah, I love it. I think it's best for everyone except those of us that were hoping that Colin Matangi would talk to our club, as we very much were. And I think you're, you're pretty silly if you weren't. 